Hey everyone, this is Delta and welcome to another snapshot video for Minecraft. This is the 12W34A, so this is week 34 of 2012, number A for the first week. So this is a really, really interesting snapshot. We have tons of new added stuff, features, and all, all bunch of stuff that we're going to go over. Now, all crafting recipes will be shown on the screen for you guys who want to know how to build them. Um, and yeah, so pretty much going to go from the start through a list that I have and we will discuss everything in, in depth. That's my main point that I will discuss everything in depth. Starting off, we have uh, item frames. Item frames uh, hold items um, and they, are, they, they obviously show display um, things so they are 3D or depends if the items are 3D or not. Blocks and uh, placeable items are 3D. Um, and other stuff. They do not show enchantments. This, this chest piece was actually enchanted or have particle or the actual effects themselves as you can see. Uh, if I grab one of those, you can see in my hotbar that it is actually enchanted in spinning whereas it does not on here. They hold maps which is really great and it actually gives you a visual de 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 detail of where people are. Uh, if everyone holds a map, um, as you can see, you can see myself on that map. If I get rid of the map, you shouldn't be able to see me anymore. And that's so, if everyone has a map, you'd actually be able to see everyone on your map. Now, the maps have been changed themselves. They are now uh, on grid references, and they uh, they now work on grid. So, as you can see, I made this map right where I'm standing, and I positioned myself all the way down in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, it's a bit... It, they've done it so that you can actually uh, better sync up maps, so you can have more than one map, and, and yeah. And so it allows you to build other maps in different regions. And once you build in different regions, you can have a better idea of what um, it is. And then thus, we can create a visual map by using these frames and creating different maps. You could have like a, a wall and it'd be completely filled with maps. You could have a huge wall of these maps and it'll actually tell you your entire base and whatnot, which is really, really cool. Now maps, uh, like I said, they've been changed. You can also replicate maps now. You can replicate them by uh, simply building a map. Instead of, I think it comes in the middle, you place a map inside or the original map inside. Again, a crafting recipe will be shown on screen for that as well. Um, that's to duplicate maps. Uh, but yeah, so that's really interesting. Um, these are really great. I'll be using them in my LP world, visual representations of my items in chess, and that are really cool. So next up, uh, we will go straight onto this. We have a cobblestone wall or fence. They act like a fence. Um, they you cannot jump over it, even though they are they, they look only one or even less than one block high, but they are quite in fact not jumpable. Um, they have different versions of it. They've got the cobblestone, and then you've got the uh, mossy cobblestone one. And when you break them, they change the structure um, and to have these little end caps. And like I said, they're pretty much fences, but they're actually called walls, cobblestone walls, and cob and mossy cobblestone walls. Um, just I just remember there, and just to note that um, unlike picture frames, you can actually place uh, these these item uh, frames on walls directly uh, adjacent or opposite uh, one another, uh, and they also stop water as well. From what I can tell, water won't won't break them. From from what I can tell, let's test this out though. Um, nope, they don't. That doesn't work properly. Um, also, one thing to note, to rotate items in the actual um, thing, you obviously right-click it, and it will actually rotate the items in all four directions. As you can see, that will go all around. That's what you can pretty do. Yes, what you can do is pretty cool. Um, and next up, as you can see, there is some graphical glitches. If you move your screen, look to the far left, if you look over here, if you move your screen far enough away, the actual picture frame will disappear off your screen. I've noticed that a fair bit actually, and that's a obviously a glitch with the game. Next up, we have flower pots and all these these pots, and these pots um, they hold items such as these fancy blocks, these the grass, all these stuff, like mushrooms, all plantable items, and they hold them like that. As you can, as you can tell, I did a comparison that they actually are um, smaller when placed in the pot. The pot, and I don't, they don't grow obviously because this one hasn't grown, but um, yeah, it's really cool. And it's just, it's just another aesthetic block that you can actually um, you can add. So, next up, we have some um, actual features added to the in game menu. So, we, if you go to the options menu, uh, video settings, you'll now notice that we have two new options here full screen, 
off and use VSync. Use VSync was uh, in the game a while ago. Oh, I can't remember. I think it's 1.3. Or even I think it's 1.25. Even I can't remember. However, this, this setting was actually in a text file from what I can remember, and you can turn it off and on now. Uh, full screen has always been a key button press away, but however, then now they're adding it in game. If you didn't know it, um, if you go to your con controls, full screen is not listed here, but it actually is. I think one of the F keys, F10, F11, or F12. I cannot remember, but now now they actually got it in our video settings itself. Um, just to let you guys know, they actually removed the work in progress block, which is the beacon block that we uh, we all know and love from crashing our games. That was introduced into the last snapshot, which will give off a bright light in the sky. That is still able to get in the game, it's just no longer in the menus themselves. You have to hack it in or command uh, to make command, uh, write a command to get it in, obviously, like that. Um, so now we move on to stairs. Stairs have been changed. <laughs> I thought I could jump over that. Stairs have been changed, and now have this added feature of going in the corner now this is fantastic I love the aesthetic look of this however um, they're just testing it because they are concerned that people don't want it if they want to post a normal stair here um, it just, it's a normal stair and they can't do it because this is because of um that's pretty cool that's new that's new uh, because of and it's a normal stair but because of uh the stairs adjacent to it that will uh, snap on that stairs will it'll only work if you have um, two stairs like this and then you place it down in the middle it only works like that and it doesn't really work the other way however like I said um if if you had a block like that and like that and it joins as well so that it may it may annoy people like I said this is a testing it's a simple testing one um, and so they're not too uh, not too certain about it and you can make some pretty cool designs like this that so was testing as well um, that you can go in and out now they've added some new uh, portal functions. This comes directly from Dinnerbone. Dinnerbone has a massive interest in portals, which I'm fantastic. I, I am grateful for. And he's now allowed it for entities and mobs to go through portals, which are really interesting. So we can actually send, uh, if I send through some entities now, whoops, the stairs will actually go through the portal. Um, as you can see, they zap quite quickly across. If we get some uh, spawn eggs, we can spawn a couple of pigs. Um, through and they'll go through after the animation obviously like so now there's a glitch with the game if I go through now the pigs will go back um, but they still they actually are in the nether you'll be able to see if I go through the nether now you'll be able to see the pigs briefly and then they'll disappear as you can see they disappeared now um, I think they, they died yeah they died on that end for some reason I'm not too sure why they died and because they dropped obviously the loot the world's still loaded somehow, I'm not too sure how that works, but they're not dying and sending me through the, the pig, the the, um, the pork chop, which is really, really funny and interesting, but yeah, it works. Um, so with this, I want to theorize some stuff. It is now possible to send uh, mobs over large distances. If you want to send uh, mushrooms over to your base, you can now do it via nether transport, which is fantastic. Um, just to the time of day. You can send villages over long distances as well using carts and whatnot. You probably can send entities through carts. You can send, um, you can make systems up to send art entities through portals and everything like that. It, it, it could it could be a, a real uh, useful advantage on and anything in terms of what are you doing pretty much. It could, it could be used to a degree. Uh, the one main the main thing I can send up obviously is sending through mobs. Now my LP world, I don't. I'm living on an island with no cows no sheep, no, nothing like that. And now that I can actually go to my friend's base on the server, uh, quickly grab a, a sheep or whatever, lead it through the portal, come through my end, um, take it back through my other portal, and yeah, to come back to my base and I'm gonna go sheep now, which is really easy to do, otherwise I don't have to go through water and transport and whatnot, um, which is really cool, so that's an added feature. Now, um, on to some new aesthetic touches again. Uh, leather armor can now be dyed. The leather texture itself has been actually changed. It's now slightly lighter if you can note um, And as you can see it's now dyed um, And then the fact that it's dyed uh, you can tell different colors However, it's not just bound to the simple colors over here or colors of, of the actual um, the, the dyes you can actually mix and match colors or mix and match the quantities of colors in order to get the uh, the, the colors to what you want. So don't think that it's just these colors. So if you go to the crafting tables over here, you can place, say, a yellow. Now the leather has yellow, if you place a red, it'll turn orange. If you place it green, it'll turn this crappy kind of color. You can remove it. 
you can play as blue, they'll turn like kind of a grey. It's really up to your imagination that's a kind of green. You can you can add you can literally add as many colours as you want. You can actually multiply so as you can see if I remove that and only place one in there, it's slightly different. And we can place sorry, I'm, I'm trying to place red, not blue. You can place more and obviously the more you place it on one colour, the more blue it gets, so you can place more red there. It's it's really a really cool, interesting fact, um, or feature that to add into the game, sorry. Um, so if we can, I'll just get rid of all the stuff. I'm, I mean, I'm filling up my inventory, I'm not doing the best thing, I mean. So if you just die as cat, we can now have a fancy cat. I've got so much inventory right now. Um, I've lost my cat. Anyway, it, uh, it all works fine. It only works with leather for now. Um, as you can see, it works well. Now, there's a new feature in the game, which I'll talk about soon, or I'll talk about now, actually, is that the ability to turn and toggle on um, item descriptions. As you can see now, we have simply, say, raw beef, orange dye. If we ch if we hit F3 and, uh, what is it, is it H? Yep, H. And go back into the thing, we now know that we can see further detail. Iron helmet, hash, zero sticks, assist. It's the number of things. And what's great and what, what this works well with is the is the colors. You can tell each single color of it. And now, if we if we take one of these leather pants, so I should actually compare. I have slightly different colors, and it actually tells you the different colors that are associated with it, and it allows you to pinpoint certain. Um, certain colors and whatnot, which is really great. So you can definitely do some some fancy dyeing there. However, leather armor is quite useless, so I'm not too sure, other than aesthetics, what it could be used for. Now, uh, along with dyeing, we can now dye uh, dogs colors different colors. So if we grab some blue, we can dye them blue and whatnot. And also, it's good to mention that if you don't want to have a color on your items anymore, you can go to a cauldron and right click a cauldron and it'll turn back to brown leather trousers just to let you know that as well. So Tamed Wolves will change colors, as you can see. Um, and yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. We can now have some customization with dogs. That's really, really fancy and cool. Now, to move on, we have some new food types. Carrots. Um, carrots can be made into golden carrots. Um, I'll just put two there, and we should show you soon. So carrots can be made into golden, golden carrots with the current recipe on screen. We've also got potatoes as well. Potatoes can be turn into baked potatoes, I think poisonous potatoes as well. I'm not too sure if the um, the poison um, uh, comes from a pick, a picking out every now potato every now and then or eating it raw or something like that. But yeah, you can actually face poisonous potatoes. Now, they have to be planted or raw, or so the seeds and whatnot are planted uh, in tilled soil. Um, tilled soil with water obviously helps and whatnot. As you can see here, here's the carrots, the normal carrots. Here's the golden carrots, golden carrots. Um, uh, are now used in some uh, brewing, which we'll show you soon. And then we have the, the potato, the baked potato, and the poisonous potato, which is really cool. Uh, so we'll go over the recipes uh, now. Um, the the recipes uh, we have new new potions. So the night not, not mission potion was uh, saw or seen in the last uh, snapshot, and that is now created by golden carrots uh, added to awkward potions. So. Awkward potions are pretty simple. It's just uh, I think it's another wart with uh, the water, and it creates awkward potions. So gold carrots with that will actually create night vision, which is really handy. I think I'll be using that a fair bit. Um, and a new potion, a brand new potion, is a potion of invisibility, which we'll get to soon. Uh, that is create crafted with fermented spider eye and potion of night vision. So that's uh, handy with that. Now the potatoes, I think, are just food. Um, another food source you can now have to eat. Uh, so we now have a new redstone redstone input. It's a it's a wooden button now to go along with the wooden wooden theme. The wooden button will now be affected by arrows, like similar to the pressure plate, where you can shoot a, an arrow at pressure plate. It now works similar, and it will actually activate like so. And it's really cool because um, before we had previously only had stone inputs, such as stone levers um, or stone buttons. We had a pressure we had a pressure plate. However, now we have a new button which we can go along with different themes. And uh, for whatever people want, so that's pretty cool. Trap doors are now placeable on either side of the block, whether it be a top or bottom. You cannot place them obviously on the same block, um, and they go up and down like that, so they actually reverse, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's an addition to the game. Moving on, we have, like I said, the new potions, the night vision potion we showed off last game. The potions are now brewable now, whereas before they were not. 
Potions of Invisibility. This is a pretty cool one. Like I said before, it's actually um, it's brewed by Fermented Spider Eye and Potion of Night Vision. And what it does is we are now invisible and it, it will actually hide everything. As you can see, I'm flicking through my items now. If we say have, um, get some armor on, um, just for example, uh, we go here. And that didn't work because it's broken in a snapshot. But if we uh, put it on properly without, you can't shift click in because it's broken. As you can see, we, we are a ghost figure. Now this also hides our names as well, which is pretty cool. And it, it, it's just in general pretty cool. Now mobs won't attack you until you bump into them. So if we put it on easy and we spawn in some, some zombies. Uh, and I forgot that it will burn. <laughs> we'll spawn some creepers in because we are cool. There you go, we're going straight for the villagers. So now I'll have to get out of. So game mode, game mode set. Is it zero? Apparently, I'm not supposed to be in a scene, but maybe because I've got my armor on, I don't know. Yep, so you can't see me click to an item, still can't see me, if I put, if I put something on, can you see me? Yeah, you saw me, so as soon as, I put, as soon as I put an item on, they can see, which is actually a really cool, interesting feature that I've got going on there, as you can see, it's actually really cool, and this would be fantastic for trolling people on SMP, I can just, I can just see it now, doors opening and stuff going on, and it's going to be used to troll hard, so watch out for that. Fire will now spread on different difficulties, so, um, the, on hard mode, fire is is very aggressive. Um, I can show you quickly. We'll, we can set it up by using wool because we all know that wool is quite um, flammable. Um, and I will do a, a brief demonstration. So we'll do three lanes, um, and we'll do it too. So it's just it's just so I can show you um, from peaceful and to hard difficulty. Now, um, when this was tested in by one of the developers, he said that the fire actually skipped one of the lanes and went in hard mode and actually destroyed the other lanes. Um, now this might take quite a while on peaceful, however, uh, we'll try on hard soon and see how fast it goes. Now, I don't want to bore you too much, so we'll only do this for a tiny bit. So while we talk about that, we're talking about some bug fixes that the, um, the game actually brought. So, um, the bug fixes, they fix burning, uh, the zombies burning not in the sun, so the zombies burned not in the sun um, in the last patch, however, now it's fixed. They fixed the graphical error in chests, sometimes the end of chests as well, and they also fixed the crash uh, bug with the beacon blocks. So that's all the bug fixes they fixed during this patch. Um, so we saw that, it didn't actually do anything, or it didn't do too much. It was, it was alright, it wasn't too aggressive, but now if we change it to hard, it should go a lot faster from what has been described. Um, I think, and it, it, it won't die as easy, um, apparently, because this the piece one has a die a period of where it, it die off, whereas hard should keep on going, or maybe not. But as you can see, that's much faster. So yeah, um, but it's, it's, it's pretty interesting, pretty interesting feature. It's just making the game harder for people who play hard and whatnot, and it's, it's something just added, I guess. Now to talk about the notable bugs with this update. Now with all these new additions, there has to be some bugs. This bugs, this snapshot is not um, immune to this at all. They are having, they have uh, a fair bit of bugs with them as well, which we'll get onto now. So let's we'll set it back to peaceful. So like I said, traveling through the nether portal with a mob, uh, the mob will teleport back once you go through. That's just something different. Um, Mobs can occasionally fall through blocks. I think it's just an issue with uh, obviously the hitboxes of detection and stuff like that. They actually are falling through in, in and out of blocks. Item frames do not drop when they are poured onto. As we saw before, we could actually pour water through the frames, but they were not dropping off the wall. When item frames um, are placed on servers, they can actually crash the server, which is actually um, that's actually a bit of a glitch. I'm not too sure. I haven't actually tried on a server yet, but that's actually quite scary. Um, also, that with dyeing leather, dyeing leather, if you place two uh, two um, pieces of different leather armor in the same crafting 
configuration. So if you had, for, we'll show you right now actually, for example, um, so if we had two of these and we had some red dye, we go over here, we can do that. We want both of them to be red, however, it'll only make one pair and this will affect the actual, um, this will affect it from uh, giving you two pairs. This will also uh, screw up if you want to, as you can see, it changes the color um, back to normal. It also affects you the um, the fact that when you when you want to combine items, when you have a durability on them, when it's dying off, you want to combine the items. It will won't actually work with that. And I'll actually give you a bit of a conflict with that as well. Um, people are reporting that the Nether is extremely laggy. Yeah, I haven't actually faced this myself, but people are reporting that. Um, if you push a dyed uh, wolf, sorry, uh, that has a dyed color through the Nether, the or the end, sorry, they will reset. Um, the color will go back to normal, um, and it's similar to Nether. Nether is um, especially, especially one where the, it doesn't work properly with, with dogs and whatnot as well. Uh, that's just an issue with the porters. Uh, if standing behind two stairs and placing a stair between the stairs to make a corner, it places incorrectly. And I did actually face this before. If you place get stairs, pickpock. Um, if you stand here and here and place it like that. Sometimes it won't actually work. I had it before where it wasn't actually working, but now it's, it is. So, um, yeah, I think it's like that as well. Where you can't actually, you can't actually get a physical block to work. You have to be looking in the other direction, which is a bit of annoying. So no matter how you do it, besides like that, it's just going to be an issue. Some other bugs include, uh, uh, some of these frame issues. If you place a frame on a wall, um, and you break the block behind it. Sometimes the frame will stay until you update or hit it at least. I don't know, I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's actually included in the game, but you can actually have hovering frames uh, because of this. And you place so items like that still, they still work fine. They pop off random like that. So that's an, an issue. Uh, other than that, the um, if you place a frame within a frame, so if we show you like that, um, and you destroy the frame, normally you get back the items inside as well, however, you only get one frame, um, unlike the other ones. Um, so that's, that's bad on the, the major bug fixes. Um, there's some tiny ones that, uh, that are, uh, not really, not too much relevant, but I'll put the entire list up in the description. It's the Wikipedia, the Minecraft Wikipedia link, um, for you to check that out. As, as I, uh, normally say, you can download the snapshot off Mojang's website and update yourself to this update. Um, if you want early access to it, other than that, you can uh, you can just wait for that to come out. Um, it should come out obviously with 1.4, and that'll be whenever that comes out. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the that's pretty much the entirety of the update. We have some pretty we have some bugs that are expected. Nothing too major, just mainly bugs with the new um, stuff. Nothing broken of the previous stuff. Um, we have some really cool features. We have some new items. We have some new ability for old items. The portals are great. The dying is fantastic. New food, new potions, new imports, uh, and new difficulties. So it's really, really cool update. This is a big update um, due to the last week. There was an update for the actual Minecraft 1.3.2, and so there wasn't actually a snapshot. That's why they kind of combined everything in here. Other than that, that's about it for the snapshot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do this, I do this weekly or as, as often as I bring out the snapshots. Plus, I kind of do some behind the scenes information from Mojang via Twitter feeds if they uh, do send them out. A lot of the stuff was leaked early, like the, the frames of the pots, the invisibility potion, um, and then other portals were all leaked a bit early. So I will generally do a video on it if it's worth it. Um, so you keep up to date, you keep up with the most current information through myself. Um, but yeah, other than that, thanks guys for watching. This is Delta, and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys later, bye.